Katherine Allen with TAG DFW at Keller Williams. I'm here to do the What's the Good News update. It's a monthly video that we do just talking about interesting things happening in and around DFW, both real estate related and for the economy or just something that we found entertaining and wanted you guys to know about. The first is in regards to real estate and new construction. So we just got the update for second quarter results on new construction sales and new construction starts. So 8,200 homes were started in second quarter of this year by new construction builders. That is the highest amount that have been started here since the fourth quarter of 2006. During that same time frame, 8,800 homes were actually sold, and that was an increase of 13% from last year. Overall, new construction is getting very expensive, not a surprise. We have higher land costs, higher material costs, there's a shortage of labor. But we've had a lot of people saying we really want an affordable option because prices are just escalating. So builders got this feedback from the general population saying, please build us something under $500,000 and ideally under the $350,000 price point. In response, they have been trying to find land and communities where they can do that. And so in second quarter of this year, we saw a lot of growth in Salina, the southwest area of Fort Worth, the Colony, Forney, and Princeton. For the first time in five years, DFW Airport has announced that they are not changing or increasing their parking rates for self-parking. So for those of you that still actually drive your car and park it while you're out of town, they're going to remain the same next year. The reason is that there's a huge increase in people taking car for hire services to the airport, such as Uber or Lyft. A couple of years ago, DFW saw about 6.5% of their revenue for the entire year from those services, and they are projecting that next year it's going to be responsible for 11.5% of their total revenue, so a big spike there. Speaking of Uber, they actually tested something out in Texas that you may or may not be aware of. It's called Uber Freight. So Texas has a big trucking industry and they tested these routes between DFW, San Antonio, and Houston to see if this would actually be successful. And it's just like what it sounds. You had truck drivers get matched up with loads of goods that needed to be delivered somewhere and it worked really successfully. So they have launched this now. The reason that they wanted to try Texas first is that 17% of the freight for the country comes in and out of Texas. And a third of tractor trailer drivers live in DFW. Uh, so New York has the highest population, then Chicago, and then DFW has the highest, uh, third highest population for tractor trailer drivers that are here. Good news for Texans on electricity rates. The Texas Coalition for Affordable Power and Rice University just released a study. They were looking at the regulated and deregulated marketplace in Texas, and 85% of Texans actually live somewhere where they can choose their own provider. Only 15% are in areas where they have to use somebody, but they looked over the last four years, and consistently for the fourth year in a row, people's uh, rates for what they're paying for electricity here are continuing to decrease. Lastly, I want to update you on a furniture store that is here. If you have been wandering over by the shops at Legacy, there's a whole new development called Legacy West, which is west of the toll road. There is a store called Front Gate. It's a high-end luxury brand. They already have 20,000 catalog uh, subscribers here, and they are growing. They have a store in Atlanta, and they have a couple of outlets at well, as well. Um, if you go into the store and you are a customer, you can actually sit and have a complimentary glass of wine or a snack uh, while you shop. So if you're bored and you wanna go check out that store, please do so, it's open now. And that's really everything we have for you. So thanks for watching. We'll be back next month with another update. And in the meantime, if you guys are thinking about buying or selling or have any friends or family that are interested and wanna to talk to us, we will be posting our contact information as always. Thanks, have a great day, bye.